What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So 93 overall moments Drogba is the person we will be reviewing today. But before we get into it, I want to say a big thank you to my guy Valley for obviously allowing me to hop onto his account and review this card. Now, if you guys got any icon moment loan cards, because I know a lot of, uh, there's an SBC that you can get a loan card. So I know a lot of you have got any, but if I haven't reviewed the card yet and obviously you allow me to hop onto your account and review them, please hit me up on Twitter or ZMF on Twitter. If you can't find it, their link will be in the description. Now, 93 pace, 87 dribbling, 95 shooting, 94 physical and 81 passing. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking at that dribbling and I'm thinking to myself, I've used Jogba's previous cards and I need that dribbling to go up. So that's the one thing I'm going to probably focus on. Six foot two. We all know he's not going to feel good on the ball. Okay, we all know it. Because I don't think one single six foot two player that I have actually tried out has felt good on the ball. Maybe Jogba can, can, can obviously change my mind. But that's what we're here for. Now, he has got high, high work rates, which means he's most likely going to be playing a lot of defensive work. So I am going to put stay forward on him because... Yeah, as much as I would like Drogba to come back and play defense because he's got 94 physical, his uh, standing tackle is not great. Let's all be fair. The four star skill moves is going to be nice, aka okay, the Burba spin, because he's going to put his body in a way of the defender to obviously block him from getting the ball. He's also got a four star weak foot, which means I'm going to be able to cut off to either foot. Now, does he get the same animations as he would with his right foot that he does with his left? That's something we are going to check out. Now, he is on an engine Cambridge style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 99 acceleration and 96 sprint speed. Now, looking at the pace and looking at the physical, what I'm expecting is this guy's fake shot around the corners to be absolutely insane. Seriously. If it's not, there will be problems. Now, 93 attacker positioning, 97 finishing, 96 shot power. If he doesn't finish inside the box, oh my god, I don't know what to say about this game anymore. 87 long shots, 95 volleys, 98 penalties as well. I'm going to be probably trying a few long shots. Why not? Give it a go. I know they don't really go in this year, but at the same time, Drogba could be that little secret, you know. Now, he's got 92 of vision, 84, sorry, crossing, 97 free kick accuracy, 86 short passing and 83 long passing with 79 curve. Looking at the passing stats, he's actually not as bad as I thought. I haven't looked at these stats yet, so these are actually the first time me looking at them. And I tell you what, he's going to be able to do the one twos. He's, he's going to be able to do the little give and goes. That vision is going to help that long passing balance out. But 83 long passing is not even that bad. So he's going to be able to do the over the top through balls. And that's what I'm hoping for. Now he's got 82 agility. Uh, sorry, 82 agility, 82 balance, 97 reaction, 97 ball control, 94 dribbling and 93 composure. I tell you what, his, his agility ain't even that bad. Uh, there's one thing I had to improve and it was the balance, obviously. Because that balance is crucified, I'm not going to lie. But at the same time... <sighs> Is he going to feel good on the ball? That's what we're here for. We're here to check that out. Now, he's got 96 jumping with 99 heading accuracy, him being 6 foot 2. I will be hitting it to him near post, off the corners. And hopefully, we can get a little Drogba-esque, if you know what I mean. Now, 96 stamina, it means he's going to be lasting throughout the whole game. 95 strength means he's going to be shielding off anyone. He's going to be bodying off everyone. And he's going to cause the defenders trouble. He's also got 87 aggression, which means if he gets close to a person with the ball, he will speed up and he hopefully... He'll be more aggressive, if you want to call it. Now, today I have linked him up with Luis Figo moment cards that I just did a play with you on. If you guys missed it, link will be in the description. But I've also got Di Maria, Thiago Mendes and Grinchka in the team. I will be using Drogba in a 4-4-2, playing him up front with Figo, the Portuguese legend. Now, I want to try him in a, strike, a lone striker role because I feel like he'll fit perfectly into it. So I am going to try him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Drogba on the ball. Can I say a quote-unquote sharp turn? But I tell you what, that's an unbelievable shot. That animation that he got. I'm actually quite surprised he got it, to be fair to him. But I tell you what, that left pegger. Oh, it's looking very nice. He's touch. He's one of those players that you have to find him inside the box, then try to turn with him and then shoot. Because I tell you what, he's not one of those players that you're going to give the ball when you start dribbling with him. Beautiful one-two. Can I get a finish? And exactly that. Pick up the ball near the edge of the box. Doing the little cheeky one-twos of Figo. Unbelievable one-two, by the way. And an unbelievable finish. That's exactly how you have to use Jogba. You have to pass around him. Then, when he finds the right position, which he usually does. Which I have noticed. He's been in the right position most of the time. And you just have to find him on that edge. Do a quick one-two. Send him through. And he's going to score it. What a run. He is moving a keeper, but I tell you what, when you move the keeper, you just need to do a single ball roll. No matter where the player is, so where the keeper is, because he's moved the keeper, 
they, it, it's like he gets glitched in an animation where he's not even going to bother diving. You can go as close as you want. For example, right there, he's just going to run up to you. And it's an easy goal for me. He shouldn't have moved the keeper, I'll tell you that. Quick kill the hill. Flick it. Ball roll the keeper once again, and it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. That hill to hill, though, I loved it, honestly. So precise. It didn't go too far away from his body. It was the perfect amount of uh, power onto it. And then all I had to do was double flick it into the space. Bull roll the keeper. And it's, he's not going to miss that. Let's all be fair. It's that pace, Drogba. Come on. Get into that space. He's, uh, it's weird because he gets... Like, he accelerates really, really fast. But at the same time, he slows down a lot. And I have no idea why he's done that. That's unbelievable. Oh, that's unbelievable. Now, what I had to do there, I had to wait for the perfect moment. Because he was making a really good run. One thing I am noticing from Drogba there is he's like he's gone deep a lot. And he's not in a false nine at all. That's just his work rates. Even though I have got stay forward on this guy, he still drops really, really deep. And that, I don't know, it could be a problem at some point. But other times, it's like if you want to play really, really fast, he's not really the player for you, I'll tell you that. That's an unbelievable turn. Oh, my God. I was so focused there. I didn't even speak. But I tell you what. Did you see once again Drogba's positioning? It's unbelievable, man. The way you can pick up the ball with him and just do a simple one-two. He was going to make a weird run. But I did call him back to obviously him to come short. I picked RB to him to come short. And then all I had to do from there was do the drag back. Hit it near post. And it's an unbelievable finish. Look at that. Look at the positioning from Drogba. Oh, I just couldn't get the finish. Very unfortunate. But do you see what I mean? He's in the perfect moment at the perfect time. Just sitting in front of defenders so he can pick up the ball and do whatever he wants with it. Near post corners. Drogba, 6 foot 2. He's got amazing jumping. 99 heading accuracy. Put your head onto this one. Oh, very unfortunate. Oh, oh come on. Come on. How has he not got that one on target? Wide open. Nice little cut. Finesse. Oh my god. Now the only thing that I didn't like there was, did you see the build up towards the finesse? He took a very long time to take it on and I don't really know why because the animation, the animation wasn't great either. Now I'll tell you one thing though, the fact that he hit the post on a standing shot on a long shot like that, that impressed me I must say. Over through the legs, heel to heel, fake shot around the corner, ball roll, pass backwards, it's easy as that, little tick attack of play, Drogba picking up the ball, using his pace to get in the positions that he needs to be in, I did say he's one of those players that you're going to have to pass around him and then pass to him and then obviously just turn and finish, but I'll tell you what, he's changed my mind a little bit, yeah you can pick up the ball with him, I must admit, he's not the fastest what the person that I have seen, that is one thing you're going to struggle with, but he gets into angles slash positions, that I don't actually expect players to get into. And that's always a nice thing to see. That positioning from Drogba. I was waiting. I was waiting for the perfect moment. Because I couldn't shoot with the person I originally had. He didn't have any great angles. So I was waiting Drogba to get into the, P the 2D perfect angle. Couldn't speak apparently. But somehow, some way, he did get into it. And it's an unbelievable finish. Well played. Great positioning from Drogba once again. Half track back. Fake shot into the space. Sending the players for a complete hot dog. And that's exactly what we do. Just the little dribbling techniques. I'm telling you, if you guys don't know how to do the half track back, RB, sorry, R1 on the PS4, just move the analog stick, but you have to hold it for less. So normal drag back, just hold it for less. Just do that. And that's simple as you're going to do the drag back and it's going to be an unbelievable little move. That's unbelievable play. Little dummy as well. Oh my god. What referee? Come on. I did the I did the drag back back and then forward, sending the guy for a complete hot dog. To get an angle on that right foot, that's what I wanted. I did end up shooting, but it took like a weird touch and then gave away the penalty. But we are gonna take this with obviously the man himself dropped by 98 penalties. There's only one place we go, and you already know where it is. It's gonna be top bins every single time. Very, very hard technique to save. If you guys learn hitting it top bins, just go into the practicing, go into skill games, aim it top bins. Trust me. It's a dirty method and you, they won't save it. Ooh, oh, I just couldn't get it. You see that little dribbling though on Drogba? I tell you what, when I'm walking with him like this, he doesn't feel too bad on the ball. But when, when you're running with him, oh, it's not the greatest to tell you that. 
Cross goal shot. The guy did read it. That was a good read from the keeper. Basically, if they move the keeper to the right side, usually the, if the player is good enough, they tend to try to avoid the keeper automatically. And that is simply why he has hit it wide. If I hit that near post, though, I'm telling you, that's a goal. That's an unbelievable run, I'll tell you that. Ball roll the keeper all day. We're going to get a guaranteed goal, a guaranteed finish. Those runs that Drogba makes in behind is unbelievable, man. It's so, so good. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this card, he can do one thing fairly, fairly well. He can finish a ball. I can give him that. The way he just finished it with so much power, so much accuracy. We scored. I think it was three, game, three games we played nine goals because there was already a game and two goals that my guy played. So we're not going to obviously include that. But look at that goal to game ratio. Unbelievable, man. Six foot two. It was a problem. He didn't feel great on the ball. But at the same time, if you're going to use Drogba, most likely you are a Chelsea fan or you just, you know, supported him when you was younger and you really, really enjoyed him as a player. That I feel like that's the only two reasons you will get this card, honestly. The high, high work rates was a time to time a bit of a problem. Even though I put stay forward, in, stay forward on him, he would still uh, try to track back a little bit. But I didn't really mind it that much. It tended, it's more of what your play style is. If you like to pass around a lot, then yeah, he's probably, I wouldn't say he's perfect for you, but I would say he's a good player for you. But if you want to play as like a counter-attacking player or as like a, you're really, really a fast attacking player, definitely Drogba is not your guy. Now, the four-star skill moves was nice. The burb spin, I must admit, and the standing scoop turn were unbelievable on him. The four-star weak foot felt like a four-star. I can tell him that. Now, pace-wise, he was actually really, really fast. But when he was in a running motion already, when I passed to him, I'll tell you what, that acceleration was insane. But if you're talking about collecting the ball, standing still, then turning and running with him, just don't even do it. Don't. Because I tell you what, this guy on a standing touch will not accelerate. He will take a bad touch and a probably a bad turn. Now, shooting wise, as I said, unbelievable. Passing wise was really nice. The little tick attacker, the link up play was always beautiful to see. Dribbling wise, on the ball, just moving the left analog stick, just going like this, he was good. But as soon as you hold that R2 button, I tell you what, it was game over. The touch was just. Ugh. The touch was unbelievable, if you want to call it. The way he would take a touch when running, it would go so far away from his body that there would be no chance of getting that ball back. I can tell you that. Now, balance-wise, that's one thing I was impressed about, his balance. He didn't do any falling over animations, but I can tell you something. When you're turning at tight angles, his touch was much worse than what it should be. And that's a big problem on him. Now, jumping-wise, uh, unbelievable. I'm not going to lie. Won a lot of headers. But I couldn't really score one. There was a wide open one that he did miss. And I was actually quite surprised about it. But it happened. It's FIFA 20. Headers on overpowered. Stamina up and down the pitch. No problem. Making runs left, right and centre. That's always nice to see. The strength was really nice. The way he would shield off players. When his movement inside the box. When I had it on the edge. He would stand in front of centre backs. And just shield them off. Wait for the ball. Collect it. Turn. Shoot. It was simple as that. Aggression was really, really good as well. Fighting for the ball. Winning a lot of 50-50s. Now, I have to give this card a rating at 10. Now, he's not your go-to, I can tell you that. But if you give a, this guy a shot inside the box, he is definitely finishing it. But I am going to give him an 8 out of 10. I don't believe he deserves higher because he's not really in the meta, if you want to call it. But he's a really, really good finisher. If you look at Drogba, you see a finisher. That's all you see. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.